Before we begin, I encourage you all to like and subscribe, as your support is really appreciated. I also recommend you check out the BCA for any local pool leagues in your area. And also check out Inside Pool Magazine, as they have some great billiard content. And lastly, visit jflowerscues.com for some great products at great prices. Now on to the video. To win a free pool cue, go to my YouTube channel. Then simply subscribe, like, and share. That's it. Good luck. Philly Fingers here, playing Saratoga Pool. To start, you rack using only 13 balls. You don't use the 7 or the 15. You make sure that the 1 is at the head spot, the 8 is in the middle, and the 9 at the bottom of the rack. You also want to make sure you have a stripe and a solid at the end of the fourth row of balls. This game is a bit of a hybrid between 8 ball and 9 ball, and you'll see what I mean in a second. After the break, regardless of what goes down, the table is always open. At this point, just like 8 ball, I have to choose between solids and stripes. But just like 9 ball, I have to pocket the balls in numerical order. So now, I only have the choice of aiming at the 1 or the 9. With the 1 ball blocked by the 2 ball, I will aim at the 9 and select stripes. Now that I've selected stripes, I need to aim at the 10 and pocket the remaining stripes in numerical order. Since I don't have a clear path to the 10, I will play defense, but I'll play defense in order to hide my opponent from the one ball. And this is because they will have to run the solids also in numerical order. It's also important to note that this is a call shot and call safe game. Switching now to solids, I'm blocked by the 8 ball, so I will have to mass A around the 8 ball in order to make contact and play safe once again. Playing defense in this game is a lot easier than playing defense in 8 ball, because you're only guarding against one ball, where in 8 ball, your opponent has many options. Now switching to stripes, I am blocked by the 4 ball, so to make contact, I will have to mass A around the 4 ball in order to pocket the 10 in the corner. In the beginning of the game, this is where you usually have to engage in these defensive battles. Although I missed the 10 ball, I got fortunate and I snookered my opponent where they can't see the 1 ball. And that's what makes this game a lot harder and different than an 8 ball. Where in 8 ball, my opponent would have many options. He could aim at any of the other solids. Now with the table very crowded, all the paths to the 1 ball are blocked. I've only left a very small window for perhaps a two rail kick to the one. By striking the three first, my opponent is fouled, giving me ball in hand anywhere on the table. In some places, it's important to note that they also play where three consecutive fouls is a loss. And this is what happens when you come out on the other side of that defensive battle. You get ball in hand, which is what you always want. This now makes your run out a lot easier. Now I just need to play good position and pocket the remaining stripes in numerical order leading up to the 8 ball. The 8 ball is the money ball. What I love about this game is that since it's a mixture of 8 ball and 9 ball and you're playing 8 ball but with a rotation style, it eliminates that crutch that a lot of people have where they're aiming for a stripe and hoping to get position on another stripe but they miss that position. So they bail themselves out by just changing the pattern and choosing a different strike. This game like 9 ball forces you to have to play that good position. And that's what we see here. I now have position for the 8. I will make the 8 in the corner and complete the game. That's my take on Saratoga Pool. Till next time.